Today we're going to show you an excellent way to fix the common wheel hop issue found on your 2015 through 2019 Mustang. This is BMR's Level 2 Cradle Lockout Kit. And what this is going to do is basically help get rid of wheel hop on your 2015 through 2019 Mustang. It includes these bushing inserts, and these are for the subframe bushings, which will stop the subframe from moving. These pieces go to the front of the subframe to the floor of the car and stop the subframe from actually twisting, which is one of the reasons you get wheel hop. This is made right here in the USA and a direct replacement for factory components on all 2015 through 2019 Mustangs. For this installation, with a lift and pull jacks or a jack and jack stands, 3 8 ratchet or impact gun, 13 millimeter socket, half inch ratchet or impact gun, 6 inch extension, 21 millimeter socket, half inch torque wrench, 3 8 torque wrench, and a pry bar. All right, to begin the installation, get the car off the ground. What we're going to do first support your subframe with a jack or pole jack. We'll start by removing these two bolts here and the larger bolt here. And then we're gonna remove the rear bolt. You can make sure the subframe is supported before you do this. We're going to be installing the bushings to strengthen the mount of the subframe, but here you can see where a lot of the fix is going to come from. We're getting rid of these thin stamped steel pieces go with this heavy duty piece. This is going to keep the subframe where it belongs and not allow it to twist under acceleration, which is one of the reasons you get wheel hop. Okay, now we're going to lower the subframe down, install the inserts. It's basically getting enough that there's a gap, basically get your hand in above it. We're starting the rear of the subframe. This is going to be your rear lower. You've got two of these that look very, very similar to each other. The bigger one is going to be the upper for the front. The thinner one is the upper for the rear. So the black thinner piece is going to go on top of your subframe mount. The other piece is going to go on the bottom. And grab the bolt, just thread it back in by hand. Up here on the front, grabbing the thicker bushing, goes on top, just press it down. And you're gonna grab the lockout and put this in place. Basically, the holes go towards the outside. And just get the bolt loosely started. And now we're gonna tighten it up until the subframe touches the frame again. Back it off just a little bit so we have some movement in the subframe. Okay, then we're gonna repeat the process on the other side. All right, so now the sides are in. The last part is to install the original four 13 millimeter bolts, two on each side that hold the lockouts to the floor. And to do that, you're probably gonna have to move the subframe by prying it slightly. The best thing to do is go in the back here go up through this hole and then into the floor. That will actually allow you a little bit of room to pry it and get it lined up. This part's a little tricky. What you're basically gonna do is just pry until these bolts line up. You don't wanna force them in. Now we'll tighten them down. All right, now we can snug up all the subframe bolts. And now we'll torque these down to 129 foot-pound. Then finally torque the front bolts to 41. And your installation is finished. The BMR Level 2 Cradle Lockout is a great way to get rid of the dreaded wheel hop, and as you saw, it really isn't that bad to install. Now, as far as the installation goes, give yourself about an hour to an hour and a half. And because you had the cradle unbolted, not a bad idea to get an alignment. But take your time, we'll be back on the road in no time. <laughs>